Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where we just finished up our Galactic War against the Galactic Entente. And the Assimilators were involved as well, in the early days anyway. We didn't lose any territory, but we gained a fair amount of territory. And to that end, we've got some work to do. Some organizational work. We need to go through every single planet, every, th every single station and evaluate, at least for the stations, whether they need to still exist. The planets, of course, will, and we'll just need to construct on them. So like for this world here, we need housing and jobs, so we will get an expanded warren and an alloy nano plant. Excellent. On this refinery world, we just need jobs, so that's fine. We'll get some of those. On this forge world, we need jobs. This is a synaptic node. Let's replace that with an alloy foundry and then upgrade that one. There we go. This is a foundry station, so we'll put in an alloy foundry. This is a foundry station here, but we need housing, so we'll get a synaptic cluster. We'll also upgrade to an, an alloy nano plant because we're going to need jobs soon. Over here, we just need jobs. Easy enough. Just need jobs, but we'll do two upgrades there. Here we need housing, and we can build a hive district. I'll also upgrade the mineral purification hub. Excellent. Here, we mostly need housing as well, and I'm going to replace this synaptic cluster with a hive warren. There we go. This foundry station needs housing and jobs, which is slightly problematic. We've got plenty of amenities, but if we were to ditch the maintenance depots, that would no longer be true. We could ditch the waste reprocessing center, though, and put in a hive warren. That would not give us jobs. Alternately, this is a foundry station. We could put in an alloy foundry and replace the reactor district with a habitation district which is what we're going to do. This mining world here does need housing, so we'll get it some of that. And I'll also upgrade the synaptic clusters for now. Excellent. Over here, this is a mining world. I want to upgrade the hive nexus, and we can't make an auto curating vault, so we will make a synaptic node. Over on this fringe planet, we're making plenty of food. We'll go ahead and upgrade the Hive Nexus, and we will just put in, I think, a hydroponics farm. Not much else to be done there. Now, this is a refinery world, but a lot of our jobs are actually going into these districts. We'll go ahead and upgrade the food processing center, but we do need housing, so we'll also make a Hive District. Over here, we need jobs and housing. I'm going to replace an agriculture district with a hive district. This is a refinery station here. How are we doing on our exotics? Okay, we're a little low on volatile moats, but everything else seems fine, so we'll make a chemical plant. That will also get us one job, which is slightly problematic. We're going to need jobs here eventually. But for right now, that's the best we can do. We cannot repair these structures here. These are... Awkward. Is what I think I'll call that. This is currently set up as a refinery station. But I think... I might switch this over to a research... And then we just upgrade those for jobs. Yeah. This foundry station here needs jobs. We can definitely accommodate that. Same thing with this one. We can definitely accommodate that as well. And then this is a refinery station. We're going to need jobs here pretty badly. I'm going to build a single alloy foundry just for job purposes. 
And I'm also going to build one reactor district, and then we'll build a habitation district. Again, just for job purposes, because reactor, di reactor districts give four tech drone jobs, and habitation districts only give two maintenance drone jobs. Okay, this is a refinery station here. I actually think that we're going to take away that designation and put in an auto curating vault. Same thing here. Okay, this research ring world here, it will need... We've got a planetary supercomputer on here. I think we will just go for a simple research lab. We are producing, quite frankly, a silly amount of research out of here. I like it. To that end, I would like to check our ring worlds, which were... where were those? They're up in this region, weren't they? Oh, they were up here. That's right. And also, we have a ring world section that is habitable here. Well, I'll remember that and we'll deal with that when we're doing our colonization portion. But we're not currently working on any mega structure, so I think we will start working on that ruined ring section there. Now, this is a generator. We've got plenty of available jobs. That's a lot of jobs that we actually have here. So we'll go for a bioreactor. I'd love to build a planetary supercomputer here. We're not quite ready for one, unfortunately, population-wise. So we will just... Actually, we don't even need to upgrade that. We've got plenty of jobs available. All we need to do here is construct a regular research lab. There we go. We're making our way through the list. This is a refinery station here, and I think that we are going to go ahead and... We've got four jobs available. That's not a huge amount. We'll build a chemical plant. Here, we are just going to repair all of these ruined structures. And then we will evaluate afterwards. Here, we need housing. We'll go ahead and build a hive warren, and I think replace this agriculture district with a hive district. Excellent. This is allegedly a mining world. Heavy on the allegedly. It's a very strange world. We may want to reevaluate what this world actually does. Can we replace this with a mining? No, we cannot. Okay, so we need housing here. I think the first thing that we do is we remove the food processing facility and replace that with a hive warren. There, that'll do. This is a tech world here. We do have a planetary supercomputer. We're lacking housing, so I think we re replace the agriculture district with a hive district. There we go. Excellent. That's the only thing we're technically lacking right now, so we'll come back to that one later on. Foundry Station. Okay, we just need housing here. I'll go ahead and upgrade that expanded warren, and that'll do for now. Here we need four jobs and housing, so we'll go ahead and do that. Fantastic. What else do we have? We've got a tech world here that I believe... Once we upgrade this Hive Nexus, it can build a planetary supercomputer. We will do that immediately after. Excellent. That'll also give us the housing we need, but we can queue up a Hive District as well. This is a mining world here, and it's a nice mining world. We'll just go to a mineral purification hub, and then we will put in a synaptic node. Excellent. This is a generator station here. We're not too concerned about jobs right now, so we can just put in a bioreactor. Same thing here. 
In fact, all of these generator stations are probably going to be in basically the same boat. This is a refinery station. I'll just put in a chemical plant. And I'm going to actually do an exotic gas refinery in this one. I know we're doing okay on exotic gases, but regardless, we can go ahead and put in a... Actually, we've got plenty of jobs. We could do a bioreactor here. And then this refinery station, we can go ahead and put in... What do we want to put in here? We've got plenty of gases. We need moats more than anything. Okay. That's what we will do. This is a tech world here, allegedly. We may want to change out some of this, but we need housing more than anything, so we'll just build a hive district for now. And we'll reevaluate that at a later date. We can't repair this just yet, so honestly, we're going to come back to this. This is a refinery station, allegedly. It's a lot of sky domes. That means that we're going to need a lot of jobs. I'm going to make this be a tech world. Or rather, a research station. And I would like to replace this with a planetary supercomputer if we can. And we can. Fantastic. That should give us the jobs we need. Okay. Let's move on. Foundry Station. This mostly just needs jobs. Okay, we've got a spawning pool currently, so we'll build an alloy foundry. That'll be fine. We're building sentinel posts over here, but we do need one more thing. What exactly is this planet? It's currently an arctic world. I think this is the, the planet that we captured. It's currently set up as a forge world. But this is a really awkward setup. I think we definitely replace the civilian industries with alloy foundries. We've got plenty of housing. We're currently lacking some jobs. Sentinel posts are going up. That's fine with our deviancy levels. So I think we'll just build three alloy foundries and call that good. Okay, we're almost through our planets now. So we need a job here. This is a foundry station. Okay. This mining world needs a job, right? No, we just need a structure. And I'm going to go with a synaptic node. This refinery station needs jobs. I'm actually feeling like reworking this into a tech station. So then we would replace this with research labs. And we'd build a second research labs. Like that. Okay, this foundry station here. I think we're okay to have this be a foundry station. We can build an alloy foundry. That'll be fine. This is a refinery station, so we'll need a chemical plant. Eventually we might come back and take away this alloy foundry, but that's a lot of jobs that the alloy foundry can have that the chemical plant can't. So that's something we'll have to consider. This foundry station here is, I think, fine to remain a foundry station. Now this is currently a forge world, and I want to change that. I'm going to replace this with a research lab, actually. I'm going to make this a tech world. I changed my mind. I was going to make this a unity world, but I want it to be a tech world. Okay, so triple research labs there. Now then, this is of course a holy world, but... Uh, we do need structures here. I think this would make a great generator world. And it's already set as one. So I think we'll do that. We'll replace this with a bioreactor as well. 
And most of the jobs are going to be in generator districts. Now this one here is currently set as a tech world. I see no reason to change that. I think that is completely fine. There we go. And this one is also a tech world. I think that's fine. This is a research station here. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay, this foundry station. Yeah, we can go ahead and have you continue to be a foundry station. We need housing in this research station. I'm going to just go ahead and upgrade to a central control for both of these. Excellent. As well as this one. This one. And this one. And maybe all of these too. Uh, no, we just need we just need jobs here. This is two jobs. We could upgrade to a research complex and build a habitation district for each of these to solve those issues. Excellent. Okay, so there's all of our worlds done. Next, we need to evaluate our star bases. So, Almach Station. There's a gateway there. Brachma Station. Haki is Q for go to? Okay. That actually takes us inside. There's a gateway there. Hishmo, gateway there. And I did realize when I loaded this up, I forgot to claim Rastaban. I'm a little upset about that, but that's my own fault. So the Hishmo station is guarding a gateway. That's fine. Aramis is guarding a gateway and his border. That's fine. Herma is guarding a gateway. Okay. Jared is guarding a gateway and is kind of border. I mean, this system doesn't really matter. Theonita is guarding a gateway. Gateway. Gateway and border. Gateway, Elgate, and border. Gateway, wormhole, and, and not border. Gateway... Gateway. Gateway. That system, or that station rather, is guarding a gateway as well. Yep, that's all fine. We're going to have to consider constructing additional gateways in our new territories as well. So that's another thing that we're going to be doing. This is guarding a wormhole and border. Gateway and border. Gateway and wormhole. Gateway, 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 <laughs> there's a lot of gateways. Gateway over here as well, gateway and border. Yeah, that's our L gate entry. That's just simply border. Border. Here's one that doesn't need to exist. We'll downgrade that guy. Bartiam, you do need to exist, you're a border. Join them. Technically, you don't need to exist, but I'm going to leave you because I'm not interested in defending both Rint Beacon and Binder. Yurium, you're fine. Hulfax, you're fine. Dahlberg, you're fine. Coder, you're, you're fine for now. You won't remain that way. Oscom, you're fine. It is, you're fine. Eka, you're f f you're not fine. We're gonna downgrade you. Trablor is no, not downgrade. Trablor is going to take over those duties. Okay, that was Heka, which is where in the list? I have lost Heka because it doesn't exist anymore. Right. I know we did some of these already. I'm not sure where in the list we were. This one needs to stay. This is where we were. Okay. This one needs to stay for now. This one is okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Yep. And these are the ones that are likely going to start going away. But this one is actually fine. We should continue having this one for sure. Bertios. You can definitely be downgraded. 
Ublea, you're okay. We'll upgrade you. Advatir, you're okay. We'll upgrade you. Siggy, you're okay, actually. We'll upgrade you. Acclum? Hmm. <laughs> That's a little bit awkward over here. I think we'll go ahead and upgrade you. Damia, you can definitely go away. Kinus, we will upgrade you. And we also need one over here that will get started. J, you're okay. We'll upgrade you. Pesh, you don't need to exist. We will downgrade you. Karasta, yeah, you need to exist. Okay, so we've got our anchorages now. These full anchorages here, we're going to keep them around for sure. Yeah, all those are fine. Suter, we're going to keep you. And Flumpf. Now, I feel like I missed one. Specifically, Crimdor here. You don't need to exist. We'll get rid of you. And we are upgrading that one. Okay. So there are all of our planets and stations gone through. We've got our shipyards over here. Those are all fine. Now we need to consider gateways. Where are areas that it is very difficult for us to reach quickly? And Suter is one of those areas. We're going to come down over here. That is 716 days. So we definitely need gateways in this region over here very, very badly. Like a gateway over here would be good. And then one like over here, one up here, one down here, and one over here. We need a lot of gateways. That's going to take some time to be sure. Where else do we need gateways? Well, we need gateways. We've got we've got some over here. This is fine. We could maybe use one up over here. That said, we've got one there and there. We've got one here. I think we're okay on this front. And we took a little bit of territory over here. But this is fine. We've got an L gate. We've got a gateway. I think we're good to go over here. So, mostly we just need a bunch of gateways over this way. And I think the first one that I want to put in... And actually, you're currently here. This is an anchorage. We have a gateway over here. So, I think we should actually build one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start a mega structure. Wait, we can't build a gateway construction site because we're lacking alloys. No, we're lacking influence. Fair enough. So we're going to need to take forward on that. And I do think that we are going to create one, two, three, four, five, six construction ships. Those are going to be responsible for building the gateways in this area. Well, the gateway construction sites, anyway. So, with that, we have gateways here, here. So yeah, we need gateways in various locations over on this front. We're good over here, but not so good over here, over here. It's starting to get quite grim over here incredibly grim over here and just hilarious over here so yeah that's going to be our short-term mission i also want to tick w one month tick here i actually managed to unpause this game okay so we're at 73 star bases right now and we need quite a few more if we're going to properly defend these borders. The question is, are we going to work on border gore immediately? 
and I think we should. We need to shorten a lot of these fronts. I'm not going to put too much effort into building star bases at this point. We have so much more fleet power than the even the Galactic Entente that I don't think it's super important. We can begin our war planning in the next episode, but I do want to check how our truce is going. Yeah, we have a truce with them. I'm well aware. I want to see our truce. Okay. For another two years? I think we can handle that. So the idea would be that we attack the Trenzaru Assimilators next and clean them up. However, we do still have a fair number of habitable areas that we need to colonize. There's one here, there's two over here, and we've got at least one up over this way in our area up here. So that's going to need to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and queue up three colony ships to get that started. Two and three. Excellent. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. We didn't get a lot done, but we also did a whole lot. So you can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.